and you are watching NDTV Hindu. Minister says his family is being targeted for fighting the Dravid and caused response to criticism by asking, so what if his family is big on films? After two successive rallies, ARDMK Supreme Judge Jayalalitha says the countdown has begun and that victory awaits her party in the 2011 polls. The captain now wants his own team in a new twist to the tale of Tamil Nadu politics. DMDK President Vijay Khan says he'll lead an alliance. Sri Lanka trashed India by eight wickets to storm into the finals of the Tri Series after India put up a measly score of 103. 71 years young and still going strong. It's raining wishes for Nama Chennai on its birthday. I would like to wish all my uh, fans and everybody who lives in South India a uh, very happy Madras Day. I wish them a happy, happy and successful life. Hello and welcome to the Late Night News on NETV Hindu. I'm Ramanathan. A very, very happy Madras Day to all of you there. Let's also take a quick look at the national stories making headlines. Dengue in Delhi linked to Commonwealth Games, says the Health Minister Gulam Nabi Azad. The amended nuclear liability bill now makes the supply liable only if the cause an accident intentionally does it still protect the nuclear suppliers. Following the death of four infants after measles drops were given to them in Uttar Pradesh, the Health Ministry now sends a two-member team to inquire what went wrong. The government sends a notice to internet major Google for showing Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as a part of Pakistan. Congress MP Shashi Tharoor starts a new innings by marrying Sunanda Pushkar in a traditional wedding in Palakkad. Well, the top story tonight, Karunanadi's son MK Stalin is clearly being projected as the heir apparent in politics. But it's not just politics where the chief minister's families, family members have marked their presence. Four of his family members are now actively involved in filmmaking. Our political reporter Shabir Ahmed gets you the details on the Karunanadi's latest snub to his critics in response to a newspaper cartoon that criticised his family members for their monopoly in the industry. <laughs> Strong reactions from 87-year-old Chief Minister. The DMK Patriarch was not hitting back at his arch-rival Jayalalitha or any other opposition party leader. It was this small cartoon in a leading daily that irked the grand old man of Tamil Nadu politics. <laughs> As Chief Minister Karnanidhi's grandnephew and grandchildren make it really big in Tamil film industry, it has also evoked sharp criticism. But this seems to have not gone too well with the man who has scripted the success of legends in Tamil cinema. In his defence, Karnanidhi justifies with some big names in both Bollywood and Kollywood. <laughs> In Chennai with Zoya Thomas, Shabir Ahmed for NDTV Hindu. Now, mass weddings organized by political parties are always known to be political platforms for messages. Today, the state's main opposition leader, Jay Jalal, that took the stage one at one such event to tell his supporters that the countdown to the victory in the 2011 assembly polls has begun. <laughs> Jayalalitha set the clock ticking. After an impressive turnout at her recent rallies in Coimbatore and Trichy, her confidence seems to be at its best. It appears the leader fondly called Amma 
is eagerly waiting for the state polls due early next year. Namada Vetrik Kana countdown. Aram Bittavitan. Purachi Talever MGRL TSFT and Ri Yenam Kata Pata Karananidi. Tan Kuvit the Vaitirukum Panatal. Nam Vetri a Tadaka Moyer Chikalam. Nam Vidipoda Yerka Vendu. A sharp contrast to the sagging morale the party witnessed when it suffered desertions in its senior ranks some months ago. Amma would say, "Yen da moyer chiyo, yamar yen da katchalam muriyadi kumdiya the. Gova mana te muriyadi kena soli te moyer chipan nga thi muga ni mama manna kavu nga. Thiricha mana da amma nadi nga bora te muga pariya alu le. Ola ka mudu te pesa patte the." About 20 couples were married at the mass wedding, presided over by Jai Lalita. The leader and her supporters are only expected to step up the momentum as the polls approach. In Chennai. Pratiksha Ram Kumar, NDTV Hindu. And uh, that's not all in Tamil Nadu politics today. There's a new twist to the tale. DMDK President Vijay Kant, also known as Captain, has now entered the fray of politicians who want to lead alliances. Breaking his silence over speculations that he might join Jalalita in an AI DMK led alliance, Captain rubbished all rumors and said that he would rather have his own team. Political circles were abuzz with talk of an alliance between AIADMK and the DMDK. But the party's president Vijay Kant is intent on squashing all rumours. Feeling slighted perhaps by Amma's massive show of strength in Coimbatore and Tirchi. Vijay Khan's current statements come even as his own party men were voicing hopes of joining hands with the AIADMK. Uh, there is a feeling from among the rank and file of uh, both uh, ADMK and DMDK that uh, they have to come together in case to meet the DMK's strength. But Captain is adamant. The message he wants to send out to the public at large and his political opponents in particular is simple. You cannot ignore DMDK. With the captain now asking for his own team, looks like the battleground for 2011 assembly polls is getting set for a tough battle in Chennai with Raga Malika, Shabir Ahmed for NDTV Hindu. And moving away from all those, uh, that political news, today is Madras Day. Chennai is celebrating its 371st birthday. It was on this day that the East India Company bought a piece of land along the marina and built the city around its foot. Here are some of the best known faces of the Tamil film industry telling us what they love about the city which was once Madras. <laughs> I wish them a happy, happy and successful life. Thank, Thank you. you. I think Chennai city is a right mix of tradition as well as modernity. So um, it's a great city with great people and people make the place. So I love the place. I love the people. Lots of friends here. Whether you call me a Madrasi or you call me a Chennai, Chennai, um, I'm proud of it. Though my roots belong to Mumbai, I feel I'm a complete South Indian. Um, I take pride in saying I'm a South Indian. I take pride in speaking in Tamil to my children. And um, this is where my life is, this is where my love is, and this is where I'm sure I'm going to die. I would love to die in Chennai. See, the place I would really miss is uh, the Woodlands Dragon. See, that is one place where, that is a real hangout for anybody. That is where I really saw even Rajni Gandhi, you know, coming on his Java motorcycle, and the Lambert also, I think he had and Vijay Kumar, I used to see all the stars coming there and that is one place where everybody you can see. Chennai, a very, very, very happy birthday to you. And we also met some of the city's well-known faces and uh, they told us exactly what according to them makes Chennai special. Oh, even at night, uh, 3 o'clock you can ask an auto driver for the route. He'll tell you, Naira apoi left ka washi go, right ka tirimbi go, sotanga ipako, that you can never find in any part of the world. So Chennai is ultimate, more so if it is Madras. Chennai is the world's second largest beach. There are all the 
அதுவும் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மெட்ரோ சிட்டிஸில் வந்து சென்னை வந்து கண்ணா பின்னாடி டெவலப் ஆகிட்டு இருக்கு தொழில் வழியாக இருந்தாலும் சரி எஜுகேஷனாக இருந்தாலும் சரி இன்றைக்கி வந்து சென்னை வந்து ஒரு முன்னோடி நகரமாக இருக்கு இன்டெக்ரல் பார்ட் ஆஃப் மெட்ராஸ் நான் ட்ராம் பார்த்துருக்கேன் நான் வந்து ரிக்ஷா ஹேண்ட் ரிக்ஷா பார்த்துருக்கேன் சைக்கிள் ரிக்ஷா பார்த்துருக்கேன் எவ்ரி திங் ஐ சீன் அண்ட் பத்து லட்ச ரூபா கொடுத்தா கூட ஐ வில் நாட் லீவ் சென்னை அண்ட் கோ எல்ஸ் வேர் இன் தி வேர்ல்டு வந்தவரை வாழ வைக்கும் நகரம் இந்த சென்னை வைரமுத்து சார் பாட்டிலே சொல்லியிருக்காரு சென்னை எனது ரெண்டாம் அன்னைன்னு அது மாதிரி எல்லாருக்கும் இது ரெண்டாம் அன்னையாக இருந்து எல்லாத்தையும் பார்த்துக்கிற இந்த சென்னை and our reporter lokpriya also caught up with some students at the besanagar beach who were there celebrating uh, this beloved city of ours in full spirits despite pouring showers kids have turned out in huge numbers to celebrate the 371st birthday of chennai let's get across to these kids and find out if they really know why madras day is being celebrated do you know why we are celebrating madras day it's uh, 371st birthday of chennai we are celebrating it it's our chennai so we have to celebrate and what do you all like about chennai the most it it's a enjoyable spirit. place it is very spiritual place everybody has spirit in this place uh, which place do you all like to go mainly beach, beach. mainly beach and uh, marina beach and this is the best beach besana the beach also we love and uh, if you all want to change something in chennai what will you all like to change to keep our city clean first yeah. then only yeah. the yes. other things please making the city clean so if you all can sing few lines from the anthem Deputy Chief Minister M.K. Stalin today released uh, the biography of Mr. M.B. Nirmal, the founder and chairman of Exnora International. The biography carries anecdotes from the life of M.B. Nirmal who, was com uh, who has completed uh, 40 years in social service. M.B. Nirmal is a well-known public figure in Chennai and has been involved in a number of uh, initiatives including consumer advocacy and afforestation, uh, afforestation programs over the past 40 years. my life uh, philosophy is enjoy life every moment enjoy life. We, are, we are born my whole life has been seeing always something good find uh, heaven out of hell uh, and con con convert hurdles into stepping stones i, I am man who believe that the good life should be recorded always on the next generation will lose the charm uh, of it so when i decided to write about nirmal um, i i because i know him very well before that also i like his um, dynamism that's so that what appealed to me first well time to head to a short break but up on the other side shashi tharoor kick starts a new innings at palakkad and we bring you the story of the boy wanda who knows it all about sports <laughs> 